Hey, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to explain what is a credit score and how does it work. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. This is Emmanuel Lunk. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if it's your first time. Hit that notification bell and like the video. Please comment below and let me know what your take is on a credit score. But let's just get into this topic. Also, stay to the end. I'm gonna have a tip for you in order to raise your credit at least 50 to 100 points. So what is a credit score and how does it work? So a credit score is used when banks, businesses, or credit card companies, or other businesses use it in order to determine how likely you are to pay them back if you use their services or goods. That's it. But a higher score actually makes it easier for you to apply for a loan to get less interest. And the scores are usually between 300 and 850. So why do you need one of these high scores? So as I explained in another video I did, what is credit? Uh, credit is actually the ability to borrow and to repay. So it's basically a book measured of um, your financial stability to see if you are capable or you have the credibility to pay. And I'm talking about not just banks use this in order to make the determination, it also goes to landlords, utility bills, credit card companies as usual that's you know that's what you're probably looking at and not only that it even extends to businesses so if you're looking for business credit too as well and you're trying to build up your business uh, sometimes your personal credit is looked into as well at the very beginning um, that's a whole nother story another thing that you really need to know is that credit scores has many different formulas and lenders look at and use different uh, scoring systems such as the FICO scoring system which is used by most major prime lenders as well um, such as banks and credit card lenders so you need to know exactly how and what mixture is used credit karma is something different doesn't really use the uh, FICO system you can actually get the uh, FICO system uh, credit score from nav.com I'll put that in the link below as well and you can check out your free credit and if you have a business as well you can check your business credit as well through that link so check it out in the description but for the main point you know even though there are different formulas and systems that's used by different institutions the scores are not too much off maybe a couple of points on each system that's used so you may notice that you'll go to credit karma and you'll see your scores uh, really high because of uh, they're using the Vantage score and it may be, you know, at the time Vantage uh, 2.0 and then you may go to Experian.com where they're using the uh, FICO score and, you know, you see your, your score a little bit lower, maybe 20 points lower. That's just because of the scoring system that they're using. But, you know, I don't think that should be your main concern. Your main concern should be making sure that whatever you have on your credit is accurate. That's like one of your main concerns. So where do the credit scores come from? The credit scores actually come from three major companies, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. They actually produce the files. I'm sorry, uh, let me reiterate. They don't produce the files. They actually maintain the files that's produced by other businesses or credit card companies that actually reports to them. So if you do have any negatives or you know positives out there with companies, they normally do the reporting and it is a paid system that they have in place that allows them to do reporting to the credit bureaus. I know you probably don't like that, but it is a pay to play system that they have in place. I hate it. It's, it has, and you know, just to give you a heads up, it has nothing to do with federal government. The credit bureaus are separate from the federal government. So if there is a discrepancy and you're not legally able to, you know, dispute it yourself, and you know it's inaccurate and you tried all your avenues you can also go to the, F the FTC and report them okay that was just a tip I just threw that tip out there but anyway back to our usual schedule so these scores are actually determined by how many accounts you have on your credit report the longevity of the history mixture of credit because like I told you you need to have a certain mixture of credit it can be car loans credit cards it could be installment loans it could be student loans it could be home loans they're all different versions of the credit that could be inside of the mixture so and you know this is something that has to be established especially if you're going after a high uh, loan something that's out of the, the ordinary they would want to see history and how you use credit in the past in order for them to make their determination okay now i have that tip that i actually told you guys about what you need to do very first and foremost when it comes down to credit pay your bills on time it is a absolute necessary in order to pay your bills on time even with credit cards i see a lot of my clients they miss 
uh, payments on their credit and that's because they didn't want to pay any type of money but i expect you to pay at least the minimum balance no matter what um, pay the minimum balance on your card and if you can't make that minimum payment make sure that you give them a call you call them up and you say you let them know exactly what's happening that you have hardship and they may be able to push back the date uh, for repayment as well if you do have credit problems as well don't forget to go get my book i'll leave the description below in the link and um i'll give you a free digital copy just um just make sure that you click on the link and you fill out the information and i'll send you a digital copy through the link okay it's a very good book and it, it changed my life as well um the next thing that you need to do as far as uh in order to get boost your credit you can also have an authorized user you can ask a family member who has credit or who had a credit extended to them that you'll be able to sign on um well get signed onto their account no you don't get a credit card or anything like that but you'll be able to get the history that they have that can give you an instant boost especially if you have no credit score at all you can use that authorized user that account that they will be able to sign you on to and it will give you an instant boost sometimes i'll see like you know upper seven maybe eight hundreds of credit scores offer a authorized user and then i have one more thing that you can actually do in order to boost your credit now this is one of the biggest things that anyone can do because it makes up so much of your credit score and that is utilization keep your utilization down below 30 percent make sure that you're keeping this low because see when you're looking for new credit your old creditors have high utilization showing there you may not be able to get new credit because of that utilization aspect and it's a quick game changer when it comes out to a couple of points a few points sometimes 100 150 points at times so make sure that you keep your utilization down and that's like one of the, the the most common mistakes that I've seen on credit reports. Most people will say, hey, look, I have bad credit, but it's usually the utilization. All right. So thanks again for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Comment below. Let me know exactly what type of videos you want me to cover.